إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مدل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطيع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما Praise belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We praise him and we ask him for guidance and forgiveness and we seek protection in Allah from the malice of our own souls and evil of our actions whom Allah guides no one can lead him astray and whom he makes astray no one can lead him back to the right path I testify that there is no other deity but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by himself no associates to him and I testify that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his slave and messenger. Now I will translate the two ayat that I read in the beginning of Arabic khutbah. O believers, be mindful of Allah in the way he deserves and do not die except in a state of full submission to him. O believers, be mindful of Allah and say what is right. He will bless your deeds for you and forgive you your sins. And whoever obeys Allah and his messenger has truly achieved a highest achievement. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, in today's khutbah, we will focus on an essential aspect of our lives in the digital age the etiquettes of social media. The rapid growth of technology has connected us globally through social media platforms, enabling us to communicate and interact with people from all walks of life around the globe. However, with this power comes great responsibility. Our actions on social media can have significant impact on our relationship our character, our faith. Let us explore the principle and etiquette that Islam guides us to follow when navigating the virtual world. First thing we need to consider, as with everything in our life as a Muslim, is our intentions. Intentions hold a great significance and are considered a basic aspect of all the worships and actions that Muslims do. The Arabic term for intention is niya. Intentions refer to the conscious and sincere motive behind one's actions. It is the underlying reason why a person performs an act and it determines the spiritual value of that act. Having a proper and sincere intention is essential because it impacts the accept acceptability of deed in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Verily, actions are by intentions, and for every person is what he intended. So whoever immigrated for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger, then his immigration was for Allah and his, his messenger. And whoever immigrated to obtain something worldly, or to marry a woman, then his immigration was for the thing of which he immigrated. It is narrated in Sahih al-Bukhari. As Muslims, our intention forms the foundations of our deed. When using social media, we must start by reflecting on our intentions. Are we using it to spread goodness, knowledge, and kindness, or we are engaging in futile argument and wasting time. Let our social media presence be an extension of our faith 
where we seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's player and strive to bring positivity to the others. My dear brothers and sisters, in terms of time and efforts we use on social media, our intentions are the most important factor that can turn the time and effort either into a reward or an accountability in the Akhirah. I would like to remind us of some key points about intention in Islam. The first and foremost is sincerity. The intention should be solely for seek for the sake of pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for attaining the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not for showing off or gaining praise from other fellow beings. Importance of the heart. The intention resides in one's heart and it does not need to be verbally expressed. A person can intend to do something good and if circumstances prevent them from carrying out the action, they still receive the reward for their sincere int intention. Actions are judged by the intentions. The moral worth and reward of an action are based on the intention behind it. If the intention is pure and righteous, the act is considered virtuous regardless of its apparent significance. Actions are judged by the intentions. The moral growth and reward of an action are based on the intention behind it. If the intention is pure and righteous, the act is considered virtuous regardless of its apparent significance. And Nia, we need to consider the most important thing that is seeking the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's player. The ultimate goal of a believer is to seek the player of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all aspects of life and intentions play a crucial role in achieving this. My dear brothers and sisters, after Niyah, the second most important thing when we are in the online world is truthfulness. Truthfulness is highly valued in Islam and is considered a fundamental moral principle. Muslims are encouraged to be honest and truthful in all aspects of their lives. The importance of truthfulness is emphasized in the Quran and teaching of Prophet ﷺ. In the age of misinformation, it becomes even more critical for us to uphold the principle of truthfulness. Our beloved Prophet ﷺ said, truthfulness leads to righteousness and righteousness leads to paradise. In Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah number 42, it is mentioned that translates to and do not mix the truth with falsehood or conceal the truth while you know it. This verse prohibits, prohibits distorting, distorting the truth or hiding it knowingly. My dear brothers and sisters, before sharing information or news or any post, please verify its authenticity from the source. Avoid spreading rumors or engaging in deceitful behavior as this undermines the trust between individuals and within the society. My respected brothers and sisters, next, next important thing is the respectful language. Islam emphasizes the use of gentle and respectful language in all our interactions. When communicating on social media and when communicating on social media posts, are engaging in discussions, let us remember the Quranic guidance they translates to and speak to people with the good words. Avoid offensive language, insults and abusive behaviors even in disagreements. Constructive crit criticism can be beneficial but it should be conveyed with kindness and empathy. It takes a few words to build love and to strengthen a community, those are the key words that may earn us the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a player of the people as well. And it takes few words to destroy and spread in honesty and divining, earning the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in disrespect of fellow people. 
Prophet ﷺ said, A servant unthinkingly says something pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise him a whole degree. And a servant unthinkingly says something that is detested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for which he plunges into the hell. My dear brothers and sisters, living in a society along with people from all sorts of backgrounds and beliefs, it becomes even more important. Please do remember that most people do not have access and time to read the Quran or use another authentic source to know about our deen. It is us and our behavior that they read every day to know about our faith. Communication entails a big responsibility requiring every one of us to think and reflect on the far-reaching consequences before uttering any word. Especially those who are in position of any authority or are engaged in thoughts that they may spread or may impact people's life. It has been related that Prophet ﷺ was asked, O Messenger of Allah, which of the Muslim is best? And Prophet ﷺ replied, He who the Muslims are safe from his tongue and his hands. My dear brothers and sisters, when we are in the virtual world, we need to take privacy and confidentiality as serious as in our real life. Respecting the privacy of others is of utmost importance in Islam. Avoid sharing private information or sensitive details about others without their consent. We are responsible for everything we post, especially when it may harm others either through gossip or backbiting or telling lies. Sometimes an innocent mistake can destroy a coherent family and careless words and posts can destroy a relationship between friends or loved ones. Each and every word we utter is recorded and one day we will stand accountable for this record and this includes whatever we say, comment or do in the online world. It, it has been related that Mahaz bin Jabal ta'ala anhu said once they asked the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to tell him about an act that will cause him to enter paradise and be protected from the hellfire. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said guard your tongue. Mahaz bin Jabal asked Shall we be questioned about our utternesses? The Prophet ﷺ said, Most people will be thrown into the hell face down because of the transgressions of their tongue. Please avoid online go gossips and backbiting. Engaging in gossip or backbiting on social media is just as harmful as doing it in person. Allah warns us in Quran that translates to and do not spy or backbite each other. Would one of you like to eat the flesh of his brothers? When he is dead, you would detest it. Let's, let us abstain from discussing the faults of others and instead strive to focus on the positive and uplifting contents. My dear listeners, as with all things, moderation is very important. The Prophet ﷺ advised moderation in all matters, and social media is no exception. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, Be moderate and adhere to moderation, for there is no one among you who will be, who will be saved by his deeds. They said, Not even you, O Messenger of Allah, Prophet ﷺ said, Not even me, unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encompasses me with mercy and grace from Him. Excessive posting and our indulgence in social media can distract us from our responsibility and consume our valuable time. Moderation is the key 
allocate time for social media use and strike a balance with our other aspects of life, such as family, work, and, and worship. My dear brothers and sisters, social media can be powerful tool to spread awareness and support noble causes. As Muslims, we are encouraged to stand for justice <coughs> and elevate the suffering of others. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described the Ummah, the nation and follower of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Quran is following. And thus we have made you a just Ummah, that you will be witness over the people and messenger will be witness over you. We should use our online platforms to advocate for social justice and for fairness. My dear brothers and sisters, one of our greatest responsibility as Muslim is to seek knowledge whenever and wherever we can. In Surah al mujadala we read, Allah will raise up by many degrees those of you who believe and those who have been given knowledge, he is fully aware of what you do. Our beloved Prophet ﷺ said, Whoever takes a path in search of knowledge, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cause him to walk in one of the paths of the paradise. Indeed, the angels will lower their wings in great pleasure with the one who seeks knowledge. We are the luckiest people in the history in terms of the access to the knowledge. <coughs> However, in the vast sea of information in the virtual world, it is crucial to seek knowledge from reputable sources. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said in his supplication, O oh Allah, I seek refuge with you from knowledge that does not benefit. Deeds that are not accepted, and a supplication that is not answered. We need to be mindful of fake scholars and misleading contents. Verify the credibility of the sources you follow, and prioritize learning from qualified scholars and knowledgeable individuals who adhere to the teaching of the Islam. My dear brothers and sisters, Remember the Prophet ﷺ said, Whoever is not merciful to others will not be treated mercifully. And it is narrated in both Buhari and Muslim. We also need to remind ourselves that Prophet ﷺ said, None of you will have faith until they wish for them, until they wish for their brother what they wish for themselves. Social media can sometimes desensitize us to the pain and suffering of the others. A believer who has achieved excellence of faith will feel this special love for the other believers. Let us collectively cultivate the empathy and compassion, offering words of support and encouragement to those facing difficulties. My dear brothers and sisters, Finally, we must remember to disconnect from social media times and take moment for reflection. Use this time to reconnect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through prayer and interception. Nurture your relationship in the physical world and find comfort in the beauty of natural world that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created for us. As we navigate the world of social media, let us always remember that our online presence reflect our character as a Muslim. By adhering to the etiquettes of social media guided by Islam, we can create a positive impact on ourselves and others, fostering a virtuous digital world that aligns with the teaching of our faith. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us wisdom and strength to use social media responsibly and for the betterment of humanity. آمين أقول قولي هذا فاستغفروا الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم
الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان سيدنا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله ارسله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا بين يدي الساعه من يطع الله ورسوله فقد رشد ومن يعص ما فانه لا يضر لا يضر الا نفسه ولا يضر الله شيئا اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد عبدك ورسولك وصلى الله على المؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات وبارك على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وازواجه وذريته قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ارحم امتي بامتي ابو بكر واشدهم في امر الله عمر واستقهم حياء ان عثمان واقزاهم علي وفاطمه سيده النساء اهل الجنه والحسن والحسين سيد شباب اهل الجنه وحمزه اسد الله واسد رسوله رضوان الله تعالى عليهم اجمعين الله الله في اصحابي لا تتحذوهم من بعد غرزا فمن احبهم فبحب يحبهم ومن ابغضهم فببغض يبغضهم وحي امتي كرني ثم الذين يلونهم ثم الذين يلونهم ان الله يامر بالعدل والاحسان وايتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله يذكركم وله يستجيب لكم ولا ذكر الله تعالى اعلى وجل واتم واكبر بليز ستريتن يور روز بليز فيلم دي جيف موفان